Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this fully loaded 2020 Palomino Puma 295BHSS bunkhouse double slide fifth wheel. Overall exterior length is 33 feet, 8 inches, and the exterior height to the dual AC units is 12 feet 4 inches. And the unloaded vehicle weight when it came off the assembly line or the dry weight is 8,711 pounds. This is pretty much fully loaded. I'd put this up against really any uh, 2020, 2021 Puma as far as how it's equipped. Uh, it has everything that they offered. And I'll try to show that off in the video. Kind of give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. This is a one owner camper. The owners are selling it because they are not using it like they planned for the grandkids. The grandkids are always going to sports events and stuff like that. So anyway, they called me and uh, asked me to list it. And they also bought another motor home. Actually, they bought a, a little Class B Winnebago. So something for just both of them to travel cross country. All right, this is double slide fifth wheel. And as I said, fully loaded, uh, first slide out here is a super slide. It's going to be at least 12 foot long, three foot deep, accommodates the ultra leather sleeper sofa, which is like a jackknife sleeper sofa or a futon, uh, ultra leather finish or the leatherette. The color is going to be like a charcoal. Let's see if I can show that right here. It's like a dark charcoal finish. It's not black. Nice stitching there. Uh, fabrics throughout this camper are showroom. Excellent condition. Any dealer would definitely agree with me. Also in the super slide, uh, the huge U-shaped boot dinette. Definitely you can sleep two grown adults very comfortably on this. It's going to be one of the largest uh, boot dinettes you're going to get in the fifth wheel. Again, that charcoal ultra leather or leatherette finish. Excellent condition. You'd have a little bit of cloth on the back cushions there. Table just collapses down pretty easy. Take those poles out. You do have 110 outlets. Up underneath the boot dinette here, you have USB charging outlets all throughout, which I'll try to show you. I hope I don't forget. I always try to show off the window treatments. Nightshades all throughout, and there it is. It's got that ultra leather or leatherette finish on the window treatments, and then it's a fabric cloth. Uh, looks like some tan colors, kind of, you get the idea on that. And I did it again. I don't know what the color of the cabinets are, but uh, I'll have to double check. Kind of zoom in on that. Nickel finish on all your hardware. Nice little rain glass finish on the drawer fronts. Spin around here. Kitchen, huge. Lots of counter space. LED light accent up underneath the countertop. It's going to be like that foil wrap. It looks like a marble uh, finish on our marble solid surface countertops. Pretty neat concept. Farmer sink looks like a, they got some dish drying system here. You just roll these back. Appliances are all going to be stainless steel finish. That may have been an option or part of a package. Microwave with stainless steel finish. Hood also with stainless steel finish. Three burner gas cooktop front burner usually is going to be a high output nice glass lid for that and this line that may have been part of an option or something uh, nice LED lights at light accented oven with glass front stuff they should have done a long time ago you got a nice light in there too Your traditional ovens won't have that nice LED light accent there and again stainless steel finish on your refrigerator which is going to be a 11 cubic foot 12 volt electric refrigerator this is going to be one of the largest refrigerators or larger refrigerators you're going to get on a fifth wheel you do have different settings for temperature in the freezer which is pretty nice and convenient i did check for any dinks on the uh, doors of refrigerator with stainless steel finish did not find any show that off there for you Finish, uh, finish up the inside by showing you the master bedroom, but let's go back here to the bunkhouse floor plan. Basically a two bedroom fifth wheel. It's going to be the second slide out. Accommodates the uh, second 
jackknife sleeper sofa or the futon. Let's kind of put this up there. So in the daytime, if you just want to play games or kids want to come in here and mess around, they can uh, do that. There's your couch and that couch breaks down like a futon. Then at night you can bring that down. Teddy bear mattress, by the way, real comfortable and soft. This bunk is rated at 300 pounds. And again, the slide is definitely going to be three foot deep, just like the living room slide. And it's going to be a good, probably eight foot long. And as I point out, let's turn the slide off. USB charging ports all throughout. 110 outlet there. There are outlets all over this camper. Spin around here. This is the other bunk. And let's put this little ladder down. Kind of give you an idea. To get up to the bunk. Teddy bear mattress again. See? USB charging station right there. Closets. Uh, TV is going to be a 32 inch flat screen in the kids room or in this uh, bunkhouse. And you get the idea. All right. Again, fully loaded. You have dual ACs on this floor plan, which is unheard of really. Usually you just get one 15,000 BTU AC unit. Uh, this AC unit uh, cools off the back bedroom here. More than enough. I'm going to say it's going to be at least 11,000 BTU furnace. It looks like a, one of the bigger ones by Coleman. There's your Coleman badge right there. And you are also ducted. There's duct work here. So this is tied in there, right there. This is tied in to the 15,000 BTU AC unit in the living room. I just realized that. All right. Lots of cooling power on this in the AC unit in the living room, which is all ducted all the way through. Obviously, I just pointed it out. Got a quick dump feature once the camper uh, gets cooled off after five minutes. When you get to a campground, shut off the louvers. You have ducted AC all throughout. Your heat or the heating source on this, the furnace is going to be a huge 35,000 BTU furnace on this. All ducted all the way through, which is crazy. That's a huge uh, furnace for this floor plan. Spin around here and swap the bathroom. Glass enclosed shower, foot flush toilet. Again, lots of cabinet space. Nice vanity area. You do have a uh, medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. Vent fan there. Skylight above the, huge skylight by the way, uh, above the shower. And again, glass enclosed. And this line, usually you might just like get in a plastic uh, curtain or a plastic accordion style system. Kind of show off the shower there. Give you an idea what you'd be looking at when you're taking a shower. There you go. I guess you could use this as a pantry since it's right next to the kitchen. Thermostat to operate your temperatures on the camper. Pretty easy to figure out. Your floor is going to be a residential grade uh, linoleum or vinyl flooring. It looks like a wood plank look. You get the idea. Let's uh, walk up here into the entertainment center area. That I believe that's a 40 inch flat screen, 39 inch, but it's not. It's bigger. It looks bigger than 32 because 32s are what are in the bedrooms, I believe. And stereo here is going to be smart device ready. Hooks up to your smart device, and you do have USB ports there easy to figure out DVD player all the good stuff CD all right dual entry up into the master bedroom and you do have pocket doors on each side for privacy queen bed queen bed does lift up there's enough space for some blankets maybe some pillows I do check for water damage uh, I did not find any issues uh, no red flags or anything I usually just open up the cabinets up in the front and kind of look for any wrinkling or any anything that looks odd pretty easy to kind of search for water damage if you know what you're looking for spin around here those are those pocket doors wood pocket doors see that's a 32 inch flat screen right there yeah usb charging right there and 110 outlet and then you have a 110 outlet right there outlets all throughout this floor plan show off the central command or the monitor panel here. 
tells you where you're on your camper. Uh, monitor uh, your ba batteries here. It's got dual batteries on this. Usually you'll just get one. The owners did uh, opt for a second battery. Fully charged. Freshwater tank. Freshwater tank is going to be a 43 gallon freshwater tank. Black tank, which is your toilet, it's going to be 30 gallon. And you've got huge uh, capacity on your gray tanks. You have two gray tanks, which is your sink and your shower. One of them is probably tied into the bathroom and the other one's probably tied into the kitchen. But uh, both of those combined, uh, 64 gallons, which is crazy. So, water heater switches, whether you're boondocking and hooked up to shore power, your six gallon direct spark ignition water heater, uh, gas and electric, will uh, you, you'll have hot water in about 15 minutes. And these are your light switches throughout the camper, easy to figure out. Awning button, and slide one and slide two. All right, let's go outside. You do have the heavy duty step above entry step system on this and once you're all packed up and getting ready to transport this uh, staircase goes up into the door for a cleaner look uh, they won't rust and they don't bind uh, definitely a great thing they should have done a long time ago back up here see aluminum corrugated skin I always check for uh, any dinks or any hail damage on these uh, corrugated skin did not find any red flags or anything this camper has been stored in a carport protected from the elements right there there it is that's where it's been all its life it's been babied it really has let's back up here start from the front cap and work our way around beautiful front molded uh, fiberglass front cap with beautiful LED light accent it should light up really cool at night show off your Puma badge if I can right there. Nice little rock mountain scene with the Puma on the front. See I just kind of pan down the side here. Camper is a little dirty. They have not had a chance to really detail it like I like but uh, they just gave it a pretty good wipe down. Diamond plating on the front protects from rock debris. Let's show off your storage, your garage storage here and while I've got a good light on it. All the keys, the locks on the outside of the camper were upgraded. Uh, standard usually is a 751 key lock system on all campers well the owner upgraded to these heavy-duty uh, more personal lock systems for more security there's your garage right there up in the front 40 pound LP tank here you have another I'm sorry 20 pound LP tank here just so I can prove it so you know I'm not lying 20 pound LP tank there one on the other side huge 18 foot power awning and it is adjustable so you can put one end down or both end down either or you have that option LED lights are all working and they're up against the side wall so when the awning is in you still have patio lights you have marine grade style speakers uh, and they had have like a little bit of a blue LED light accent in the speakers I didn't, I didn't notice that in the beginning tinted windows usually going to be an 80% tint TV would go out here if you want to put your TV like in the bedroom out here. You got that option. Here's that. Um, I was talking about the the heating on this. Thirty five thousand BTU heating source on this. That's crazy. Uh, usually it's going to be like a thirty thousand BTU, but enclosed underbelly. I'll show you that. Fresh water to, uh, is insulated. And yeah, residential insulation. Like that pink panther insulation they do on houses. See, there's your enclosed underbelly so you can go into colder weather but if you do get like below freezing I'd start winterizing it or start going down south tires this there was a tire blowout here and so this is the spare uh, the new tire is on the back and I'll try to show that to you this does have the tire pressure monitoring system on this it's a $300 system uh, it goes with the camper uh, easy lube axles right there. You don't have to drag your camper to the shop to get it, your axles lubed up. Tires are in excellent condition while I'm pointing it out. And they are going to be 15s. 15 inch tires. All right. Oh, see? Just kind of pain down here. Look for any dinks. I'll also look at the condition of the decals. I would put this up against the 2020, 2021, 2022 all day long as far as condition. Black tank sewer flush washes out your toilet so you don't have to drag a hose inside anymore. Outside kitchen, one of the most popular features on these bunk houses. Does have a induction cooktop here, which is very cool. 
gas grill gas grill goes right here on this little swing out arm that's on the bumper 1.3 cubic foot dorm style fridge it's electric microwave by magic chef and counter space or i'm sorry well the counters are going to be that uh, metal finish so you don't have to worry about the formica tops getting all cruddy after a couple of years lots of storage again on this camper on this floor plan they even put the upgraded locks even on the kitchen entry door there all right electric stabilizer jacks on the rear and these are not the rinky dink electric jacks these are a little bit heavier duty than the usual electric stabilizer jacks you find gas grill hookup right there back up here the only thing on this camper that uh i found and actually the owner pointed it out but uh the ladder it the owner got into the back of the house i guess so i guess while backing up into something but it just bent the ladder and it does not uh hurt the use or the operation of the ladder it's just a little dented and you can change that out if you want and it'd be basically a new camper so but i would i put this up against any uh newer model all day long again fully loaded with the backup camera monitoring system and new spare tire there that may have been an option to get the, the tire uh, spare tire and mount usually it is satellite and cable hookup here again just pan down the side there and kind of look for any dinks I always do my videos on a sunny day and for one reason so I can really get a good idea of what the condition is on the outside of these campers this is the upgraded 50 amp service on this 50 amp power cord marine style cord and you do have an LED light right there that shows you that you do have shore power coming in this was an option 30 amp was uh, standard these are your two uh, gray um, valves your gate valves for your gray tank which is combined 64 gallons and then there's your toilet tank right there gate valve show up those tires and those easy lube axles and your tire monitoring system on this again that was a three hundred dollar system and the owner is letting it go with it there's your puma badge there show that there's no curling or any fading on your decals this is going to be storage up underneath your boot dinette huge storage and there are doors inside underneath the boot dinette that i forgot to show but anyway lots of storage on this floor plan Outside shower, hot and cold running water, city hookup here, and this is your other 20 pound LP tank. There you go. And the unloaded vehicle weight, as I pointed out, usually you can find a sticker somewhere on the door or on the back side here. Dry weight, when it came off the assembly line, empty, 8,711 pounds. And if you buy this camper and you need information for the bank, there's your VIN number. Pause on that video right there. There you go. Let's back up here, kind of show off what it looks like from the back side with the slides out. Nice camper. Well, I think I got everything. If I didn't, I do apologize. And I apologize to the owners if I didn't point out all the stuff that they did. They did a ton of stuff. It's fully loaded. I'd put this up against any uh, uh, fully loaded Puma out there. Anyway, uh, if you want to call, come see the camper, just call the number on the ad or you can call 502-645-3124. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.